What's up YouTubers, my name is Charles Steele, and this video marks the beginning of a new chapter for me on YouTube, and I'm going to talk about why I stopped vlogging. Whatever it is you're doing, sitting at your computer, working out, laying in bed, or cleaning your room, get comfy because I'm about to drop some secrets about the ups and downs of video blogging. So it's been six months of me taking a break from uploading. Uh, a lot has happened within uh, these six months. It's been quite the roller coaster ride. And this time away has really been beneficial. I've been focusing on my personal goals, you know, finding time to experience life away from the camera with family and friends, and just trying to be a normal college kid. Uh, it's also allowed me to re examine my goals again as a YouTuber, uh, which I'll get into at the end. I mean, since then, I still go on YouTube every day and watch videos. Uh, in order to catch up on the action going on in the world. Um, instead of watching a specific news network like Fox or CNN, YouTube is both my entertainment and my news source. You know, I constantly find myself clicking on one video and then another video and then another video until I realize it's been an hour or two of me just watching YouTube videos. So yeah, my last video was six months ago. And it wasn't even a vlog. It was a, a compilation of events of 2016 or better yet, a highlight reel of 2016. It included celebrity deaths, the best and worst of the year, new technology, you know, yada yada, etc. And I fit a little bit of my life at the end, which was, it was definitely a very fun video to make. So let's uh, just dive into the video. Why did I stop vlogging? What the hell, Charles? At first, you know, I, I loved it because I could record all the special moments in my life almost every day, especially of my baby brother growing up. And I was glad that I was vlogging during this time, especially when he was born. You know, I'm gonna have footage I can share with him when he gets older. And I'm gonna be able to look back at the times as a first and second year college student. You know, video blogging, for me, it was something that kept me busy and it also allowed me to to practice my, my skills with filming and editing on a regular basis. Uh, and I even really liked it because of the small fan base I accumulated over time. But when I quit, you know, I hated abandoning my subscribers without notice, without a proper explanation. But, you know, it was nice to get all those hours of filming, editing, tweaking, and finally uploading back into my hands again. Uh, by no means do I call myself an experienced veteran vlogger. I would say I was an amateur at best, and at one point I was very enthusiastic about it. I believe I stopped at vlog episode 104, uh, not including a handful of vlogs from Summer Series last year, uh, but I got the feel for what daily video blogging demanded. Time, effort, and dedication with a hint of originality if you wanted to get noticed. I wasn't even doing it for that long, and it became more of a, a tedious reoccurring task. It was definitely a love-hate relationship, and simply, I just slowly got burned out. Uh, I became less and less passionate about it because it became to feel like a needy task instead of something I look forward to do. But regardless of the time and effort uh, vlogging requires, I just found myself trying to become or emulate uh, someone else, you know, other vlogger styles. Uh, during the time of vlogging, you know, I watched other people and other video bloggers for motivation and for video ideas like Casey Neistat. Ben Brown, BF vs. GF, Fun for Louie, and a couple other amateur vloggers like myself. And that's when it hit me. I was trying to do something that so many other people were already trying to do. You know, video blogging is a concept that's been pioneered, played with, and ultimately figured out already. You know, YouTube is oversaturated with people recording their daily lives, and obviously some are better than others. Um, you know, a wise man once said, aka Casey Neistat, you know, if it's already being done, then you're doing it wrong. Um, you know, I was trying to 
achieve success in a very short time period. Uh, I guess a misconception many new upcomers face, regardless of what kind of videos they make, is success does not come around that easily. You need to be different, do something fresh and new. Uh, but most importantly, worrying about views and, and subscribers shouldn't be the main concern in the beginning. If you have good stuff, it'll pay off by itself eventually. As far as social media goes, um, I was constantly saturating my social media with video uploads, which is a good way to get an audience at first, but also can be annoying on the receiving end, especially for those who don't really care for watching your content. You know, vlogging definitely requires a certain level of comfort, um, especially when you're carrying around a camera in public and, and talking to it. Um, that was definitely something I, I struggled with, and that's what separates the men from the boys and the amateur vloggers from the really good vloggers. You know, you watch a guy like Casey Neistat and he is so comfortable behind the camera and it really motivates you to get behind the camera yourself and give it a try. But once you're up there, it is a whole new different ball game. You know, having the talent and the capability of acting natural in front of the camera lens and connecting with your audience is so crucial for having a successful vlogging channel. And that's just another factor to the vlogging game. I wouldn't say content was the main issue of vlogging for me like having a big agenda for the day to film, but it certainly does help tell a good story. What I do want to say is, you know, people who continue to vlog today, regardless of what their popularity is, I really do tip my hat off to you. You know, for many, it's a job or hobby that, that doesn't pay very well, um, but it sure is a challenge with pros and cons. Uh, now, am I going to say I'm done filming important segments in my life? Probably not. I do want to continue capturing those milestones here and there. Uh, am I ever going to vlog again? You know, just maybe. You know, you never know. You just never know what's, uh, what's going to happen, you know, from a week from now or a couple months from now or even a year from now. But the big question is what's next for me? You know, I definitely want to get back uh, into uploading. I'm not sure what consistency yet, but somewhat of a regular basis, that's for sure. You know, what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to talk about life, you know, my perspectives on things I know about or what I think I know about. Uh, you name it, let's talk about it. You know, let's have a conversation and connect with people because that's what YouTube is all about. Uh, one thing's for sure is I'm definitely going to try and, and mix it up uh, with different video ideas and experiment, hopefully find my groove again eventually. Um, but anyways, that's going to be it for today. Uh, I really appreciate you guys clicking on this video, and I hope you found this video very beneficial. Hit that thumbs up, click that subscribe button, or not. But anyways, until next time, peace, guys. Mm -hmm.